YouTube. Ryan from Silver Bar Summer Flies here. Today we're going to try and tie a cascade salmon fly on a size 8 partridge period double hook. This is a black UTC ultra thread and 70 denier. And we're going to put on a small uni French oval silver rib. And wind it along the body of the hook to the very back. Just to the points. In line with the points. Form your tag. One, two, three. You want about four or five turns at the back. You can put as many or as little as you wish. Pull the rib between the two hooks to secure the tag in. And wind along the front of the body. Try not to catch it like that, like what I just did. This gives the body a bit of bulk, which is what I like, um, and the balances the hook out as well. Fold it, come back to the very base of your tag, where you're going to start your rib from, secure that in, wax your thread. The tail is a bucktail, equally mixed between hot orange and yellow. I've got it in the stagger, you don't need to stagger it if you don't want to. Um, once, twice the length of the hook is what I like. Um, I like a bit of movement in the tail. Secure that in. Wind forward. A bit of moisture on your fingers. Keep that tail looking smart. Uh, I'm going to cut this bucktail on a bit of a back slope towards the front of the fly. As that finishes there, puts a taper on the, the front, which finishes it off nice towards the head where you're going to be tying your wing in. It does help. Sits the wing a bit better on the fly. Tidy up on the way back down. Get okay, to about the halfway point. This is where I tie in. My flash for the tail. It's a micro flash and small. Wait, just a micro flash. It's the smallest one to do, I think. Uh, Advanced. Fold it over. Secure and turn in, then wind back down to catch that onto the onto the tail. Cut that at the same length. Give it a little bit of a nip in. Not too bad there. Right. The back half of this fly is holographic silver tinsel. Use a large and use a medium. This is a size 12, I believe, which is about similar to a medium or a large. I don't know. Just use whatever size tinsel you feel comfortable with. Tie it into about the halfway point on the fly. Where you're going to be finishing. Fold it over the back of the tail. Do a straight turn at the back, covers up all your thread underneath. And then start forward. Slightly sloping forward. Making sure you're covering the thread up underneath. Tie that off. Cut that off, then we're going in with a black floss, 601 ply, this is a uni floss I think, good stuff, that's what I use anyway, tie that in, try and tidy that tinsel off, when you come to the front of the fly where you're going to be finishing off, tie the floss in, put a bit of wax on, Builds a good foundation for the start of the, the the wing and the head and stuff. Straighten your floss out over the front. Try and keep this touching as you go. Keep it touching as you go forward. Keep the body nice and uh, 
Hopefully you want to keep it bump free and tidy. It's not my strong point, the body's on flies. But I don't know if I've got a strong point. I'm blagging it. Cut that off. A couple of turns to secure that in. The rib at the back goes straight over for your first turn. Secure the tail in. And then angles forward. Tie that in. Let's have a look here. Where have I, done, where have I finished that off? Cut that off. Right. Get the base down for the wing. For the wing on this fly. It's a cascade I'm tying, but my friend Mark Weddle, he catches a few salmon. He says this blue wing is a favourite of his, so I've called it the Wedlock Cascade. Apologies if anybody else has already claimed originality on it. Put the hair wing in, this is a squirrel tail dyed blue. Put it in so it's just gone into the bends on the hook, so it's running at the tail slightly. That's where I like it. It's got less tendency to wrap for a poor caster like me if it's a short wing like that. It does, it looks nice. A couple of turns. Cut that off. Straighten that up a bit. Get your fibres sitting back where you want them. Right, we're going to put a drop of super glue on here. To hold those fibres in place. While that glue's drying, I'm going to put a bit of micro flash. In the wing, I don't normally do that, but with the cascade not having the jungle cock on, on the f on the front end, I will just give it a little bit of something extra with this uh, flash in the wing. Right, fold that in once that super glue's dry, because you want your wing coming down a bit. So give it a nip back. Happy with that? Yeah, that'll do. Right. Get a base of wax on. For the first wing, uh, the first hackle on this, we're going to be putting in a yellow hen hackle in yellow. Um, strip the rough off. Pull it down. Tie it in at the tip. The turns back. Cut, cut the tip off. Fold your fibers back and over. Fold your fibers back and over. Fold your fibers back. Over. If you're not happy with it, just spin it right back round, straighten them back out, and start again. I do that regularly. So you find you get a better turn actually, second time round. Two turns should be enough on there. Come over the top. Got the scissors there. Cut that one off, fold any excess fibres back. So one just caught on the thread there. Make sure you tie that in nice and tight there where you're cutting the, um, the hackle off short. Bit of wax on the thread. And for this next feather, I'm putting in an orange hen hackle. Try and find a decent feather off this cape. Um, it's a hot orange hen this one. 
It's an American hen, same as that other one. Um, tied in at the tip again. A couple of turns. Fold it back. Cut that tip off. Fold the feathers back. And over you go. Fold the feathers back. Your fibers. Over you go. Fold back. Over you go. Let it off. And second time, we'll try and get something a little bit better. Bit sparse that one. Two or three turns, that was a bit sparse that one, I think. Nah. We'll keep it at two turns. Tie it in. Put your wax on. Whip finish four or five turns. Now we'll have it. The Wedlock Cascade. Could be known as the Blue Wing Cascade. Call it what you will. That's what I'm calling it. Bit of super glue on to finish off. And then you'll put two coats of varnish on that. Ready to go fishing. Thanks very much for watching, guys. If that video was helpful at all, please like, please subscribe, please leave your comments. Um, and if you're interested in any more pictures or general fly fishing stuff in general, go on to me uh, Instagram page, Silver Bar Salmon Flies. Uh, thanks very much. Cheers.